<laughs> and welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for Bant Flash yet again. We played this a couple of days ago and I really liked it quite a bit. Uh, we did well with it and this is um, a deck that if I was playing a tournament this weekend, this is actually the, the list that I would play right now because um, I was really impressed with it the other day. So I uh, want to go ahead and try this out again and see how it runs, see if it still uh, runs as well as it did before. Um, really what we can do here is just we have a lot of uh, card advantage in our deck, especially just these Planeswalkers. Like, these two Planeswalkers, Vivian and Teferi, are just amazing cards. And so what we're trying to do is get Vivian and Teferi down as soon as possible with the help of all these mana creatures. Um, and then after having them in play to kind of protect them with uh, things like Frilled Mystic to be able to counter things, uh, Deputy gets to eat up some stuff, Shalai and Angel of Grace play some good defense. And then, of course, we also have Hydroid Crisis that just goes over the top of everybody. So... Um, uh, and, uh, so that's what we have. So let's go ahead and try this out. I feel like, like I've, I've talked about this a, a bunch that I feel like the band colors have the, um, have like the cards to be better than soul tie as like the best mid range deck in the format, but finding like the exact numbers of like what cards you want to play and how many of is kind of tricky. Um, you know, maybe this, maybe we should be playing Jade light like the whole explore package jade light and wild growth walker and everything um maybe you know maybe we need a little bit more removal um you know who knows so like finding the exact uh right combination of cards is tough because there's just so many to to kind of go through but i was really happy with this the last time we played it and so i want to go ahead and play it again and try it out again all right do y'all think we should do ranked with this deck, or should I should I do the the league of win five or lose two? What do y'all think, or should I uh, do ranked where win five lose two? I haven't done very much ranked before, so um, I'm at I'm still on silver because I've only done it like two or three times before. Uh, Mister Indebted with that sub. Thanks for the sub. That gets some hype boats in the chat. All right, yeah, that's what I, I thought people would want to see it in ranked. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do the same format. We're going to play until we win five or lose two. Oh, then the last three people said league. Ah. We're going to be doing leagues with the other two decks today, with Team of Vanifar and Gruel Monsters. This is the this is the one deck today that I'll be doing the the ranked with. Oh, thank you so much, Mister Indebted. I'm glad to have you here. All right, so this is we're at 80 subs. Hey, Dark Sip. Yeah, I've been I've been on since since three since the normal time, but we've had some internet connection issues today, um, so like we've had to cancel out the stream a few times and and restart it and things like that. Um, but we're here. Uh, we played some Rakdos earlier, and now on now on to Bant. Speaking of Rakdos, let me keep getting the YouTube video up. We get to play first. So lucky. We get to mulligan first. All right, not as lucky. So it's not a land. I'm not keeping that. I want. I want the fifth mana here to be able to play Vivian. I want to have Vivian on turn three. That's basically land. I was trying some best of one events with Is It. I went 5 3, lost to not so good decks, and won against the good decks. Huh. That happens sometimes. That can happen. I'm kind of surprised. Is there, 
Our opponent's not in... Like, why would they chart... Why are they casting chart of course pre-combat? Pre Does that even make sense? Like, why would they not just attack with Terramander and then chart a course and just no draw two? Restoration like, is it, is it better for them to have this card discarded? Yeah, it's got to be a Phoenix deck, right? Like, that's... But then they, did, they didn't even have the Phoenix, but... I'll be back, just like before. Okay, well, our opponent had the shock to kill our Vivian, which was worst case scenario for us. Vivian dying. Now we're relying on Shalai uh, to pump these other things. Okay, well, then they had Lava Coil also. So now we just got to got to top deck something. We have lots of mana, so just drawing one of our Hydroid Kraysai or Teferi or Vivian. You know, any of that kind of stuff. Basically, all of our uh, more expensive cards would be good draws. But we're not there yet. Crazies. For old mystic, I need to draw you last turn. Not this turn. Before the Crackling Drake, not after. We got ex exciting stuff coming for the YouTube channel, I think. So I'm messaging about getting some some quality thumbnails. All right, let's try to uh, get a, some more cards that matter. Uh, we had, like, the one Vivian that was, like, our one card that really mattered. Our opponent had the shock for it. And suddenly we had no nothing that really mattered anymore. Uh, Lyra and Negate. All right, Shalai's out. So Deputy of Detention, I like, but then... No, I like it. I like Deputy of Detention. Pearl Mystic is just going to be a little too expensive for us. Um, There's a lot of fives. I think Dawnbringer is better than Angel of Grace, but Angel of Grace isn't that bad. This thing can make a couple chump blockers, which can be nice. Yeah, I think I probably should have just ticked up. I, th I think that I... I think that was uh, probably too greedy, just a minus there. You know, they had Island Island in play. Um, let's see. Um, need to play another card. I 
I don't like how Shalai matches up against either Lava Coil or the Drakes. I guess it's just an Angel of Grace. I do like how Shalai works with Deputy of Detention, though. That's the thing I like about Shalai. And I just have millions of fives. So I'm going to just put Shalai in. Okay, your question is, why are you playing four shock lands where you only play three untapped double lands? I'm not sure what you mean by untapped double land. Are you talking about, like, these things? Or at, or just, like, with green-white? Like, why do I have why do I have four... So why do I have, like, four Temple Gardens and three... Three Sun Petal Grove? I think, I think that's probably the question. So why is it four uh, Temple Garden, three Sun Petal Grove? So I want the... This hand's not even good. I was just... I was just discussing. Okay, good. Well, we, we got our white mana, so our hand's a lot better. Um, okay, so because of Land War Elf, you want turn one green mana as much as you can. So with Land War Elf, you need all of the green shock lands. That's the big thing. Land War Elf means green, green shock lands are good. So that's, that's the big thing, is Land War Elf. Uh, Atrio, no, I'm not. We certainly have a really slow hand. And I'll go ahead and seal away this Enigma Drake right away. Hey, Higher Visions. I still have seven cards in hand. It's a lot of cards. Yeah, for gates, um, get Circuitous Route. Yeah, you already have you already have Gates of Blaze. Get Circuitous Route is I would go Circuitous Route and Guild Summit and Gates of Blaze. Those those are the three most important uncommons for that deck. Yeah, then, then Gatebreaker Ram is really good, but it's not as necessary as the other ones, but yeah. So the big question is, is if I tuck their Terramander with Teferi... You know, they had to have they if they have another shock, then it's a problem. It's not really that big of a problem though. We have Hydroid Crisis to draw more cards. I'm known for my excellent. Let's take so it. So playing the Crisis here, the Crisis is a four-four, and you know, it just kind of plays into Lava Coil. I think I can I think I can be a little patient and make the Crisis bigger than Lava Coil. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure, Snickers. I'm not sure how, how Value Town is against, like, the new, all the new Phoenix stuff that's around these days. I could certainly see we my opponent having break. Disdainful Stroke, though. All right, no disdainful stroke. No, they weren't. So they had, I guess they had a 
five spells in their graveyard, so they could adapt to Terramander with just three mana. So if I would have ticked, if, yeah, if I would have ticked up, they could spend three mana to adapt the Terramander and and kill the Teferi. Yeah, Plaza of Harmony. That's the that's the one y'all are talking about. They gotta have negate, right? If they didn't have disdainful stroke last time, they're keeping two mana available. So it's gotta be negate. Hmm. So I wanna play Krasis for six. Then we draw three cards and have to discard one. I could play Vivian and have it get negated and Incubation Druid and Llanowar Elf and just play uh, Krasis for even more next turn. We don't need to do that. I have I have three negates in my deck right now, so that's like a card that I would like to be able to find um, to be able to counter their counter magic. Would I rather have Binding or Vivian get countered? So I can I can play Binding and Vivian this turn. So I get to like kind of decide which one I want to get countered. I think I'd rather have Binding get countered. Um because of us drawing all these lands, we're kind of running out of spells here. Alright, well since that wasn't countered, then I'm just going to go ahead and get out some more mana creatures. Hey, Marshmallow. Thanks, Marsh. So many coils. Only time will All right, tell. Fairy down. And they still have negate available. At least what I'm assuming is negate, because they're just never playing this Terramander that's in their hand. Hopefully that's all their coils they have. That's that's three coils, at least. So hopefully they don't have another coil for this deputy. Okay, that's not so bad. Six, seven. Mm 
Um. Hopefully we can draw one more Krasis. I know we've already seen two. But another one would be really nice with all this mana. So we got 13 of our 25 lands. Which is kind of about, about average for how many cards we've seen. I don't really like where we're at right now. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really like our chances here. Opponent just really needs just any creature, and they're ahead. Remember, they cannot cast Crackling Drakes, so if they're chilling with Crackling Drakes, they can't cast them. They could, of course, have instant speed removal for deputy attention, and then get their Crackling Drake. Get this other crackling drake back and block. Oh yeah, that's true. We do have a land in the bin too. I'm just going for it. Okay. You know, I don't know what they could they were going to have, but I was just going for it. Yes, absolutely set. Um I think that Bant has a lot more potential um than Sultai does, but right now the Sultai deck is tuned a whole lot more, but I think that um like, especially against aggro, I think Bant's a whole lot better against aggro. And I, I like its answers to, like, enchantments more. Um, really like Knight of Autumn. And, you know, Teferi's just a messed up card. I, I think that Bant has better potential than Sultai does. Um, but, you know, I'm not saying that this specific 75 is perfect. Uh, it's what I like right now, but... Um... I think, I think that Bant has more potential, but right now Sultai is better tuned. Am I supposed to be playing Frilled Mystic? No, let's keep it the same. Hey, Zert. Thanks for the bits. Thank you kindly. Very kind. Uh, where's my... Where's my cheers? There we go. Cheers. Thanks, Zert. Explorer is very good. It's certainly possible I should be playing all the Explorer stuff here. I like what we have as far as mana... Like, the... The gaining a lot of mana with Incubation Druid and going over the top.
Alright, one lava coil down. The more lava coils they use, the better for deputy. Luntzer won your FNM draft with Rakdos. There you go. Good job. Yeah, so, yeah, Rakdos may be a little better than what I was saying. I don't want to throw Vivian into a spell pierce. You know, it could get negated there also. Don't really want to throw it into either. Hmm. Lasso mana. Yeah, Lyra's, Lyra's doing some good work for us. It's kind of like... It's also like whenever our opponent does deal with the Lyra, maybe they tap out then and we get to resolve the Vivian kind of thing. I wouldn't mind them not having negate mana up. So now do I want to minus Vivian or plus Vivian? That's the big question. I can play Deputy and get rid of like the two Terramanders and then have one Vivian minus on a Drake. I like getting rid of the Terramanders with Deputy more than Drakes because I don't want them to kill Deputy and then have and then get like the ETB triggers of drawing cards. Would you like to see what's left of Skull? I mean, it could also just tick up. Nah, let's kill a Drake. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Either way, Vivian will die if they have a removal spell for Lyra. Like if I tick up, Vivian's at at six loyalty, removal spell uh, makes the crackling Drake's three power. And Vivian would die, so Vivian would die either way. There. Alright, now we, we want to find Krasis. Here with this Vivian tick up. Wanna find Krasis. Balance comes. No Krasis. Found another coil. That's what I mean. I, I didn't want them to get those ETB triggers. Hmm. If I minus Vivian and play new Vivian, and they have negate for new Vivian, that's a real big problem. So let's just tick up and try to find Krasis. Let's look at another four cards. Come to me. I mean, looking at five cards a turn, we got to find it pretty quickly. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can go Krasis for ten. Draw five. I want settle. There we go. I was gonna say settle and negate. We we're almost there. We got to settle. 
All right, so that's your favorite version of Gates right there. Sylvan Awakening. Cool. Loving the Sylvan Awakening? Nice. Yeah, Krasis being cast ability is nuts. Um, will RDW ever die off? Probably not. To be fair, it is the best, it is the best early in the format because it's very easy to, it's very easy to make as far as like a deck and the other decks aren't tuned really well. Uh, so it, it's good against like the, the untuned version of other decks. So it is at its best, like, you know, early in the format and it kind of gets worse over time. <laughs> Thanks, Hogs. Yeah, it's certainly been a, a lot of requests to do ranked. So we're we're not doing all ranked all the time, but it, doing like maybe like one ranked thing a day. Um, and that's our this is our ranked thing right now. Um, not many rares or mythics in, in Drake's. Uh, basically, the main deck is just kind of like the lands. Alright, Deputy, do your thing next turn. <laughs> that is not the the current song. Uh, it, this is uh, PVRIS Holy. Not sure why that, that didn't work there. Um, I have I've never played the best of one event, so I have there isn't any deck that I've had good success with because I haven't played it. So I don't know. All right, so we got Settle and Frilled Mystic available. I want to hopefully counter something with Frilled Mystic. That's perfect. That's something to counter. Can't spell pierce that. All right, so now what am I going to do with this Teferi? I think I'm ticking up. Yeah, I'm ticking up. Keep up the pace. Start getting some extra cards. Have them attack the Teferi. Okay. It's 
Easier when they don't have Curious Obsession, that's for sure. All right, so Lyra, Negate, Seal Away. I'm not so sure about Bindings. And I kind of like Knight of Autumn to destroy Curious Obsession. Frilled Mystic is the first card out. Teferi and Vivian aren't so good. I want to trim those. Maybe go down to like one Vivian. Um, I like to pose. All right, I kind of like all of these cards. So what else am I cutting? Maybe I cut the last Vivian. Yeah, I think I just cut the last Vivian. And then this is 61. Probably Settle. Like Siren Storm Tamer counter Settle. Like everything they have counter Settle. Shalai's a good blocker. And especially pairing Shalai with Lyra for like the lifelink. But ha having these angels, are, are they're good blockers. And so like if they put, they have like their flyer, like so they go Siren Storm Tamer and then Curious Obsession it. You know, like they have like Spell Pierce and Dive Down for protection. But if I just slam Shalai on like turn three because of all of our mana creatures, they can't Spell Pierce or Dive Down it. And then they can't really attack into it. And their Curious Obsession goes away. That's what I'm thinking with the Shalai. <laughs> Creatures are really insane now compared to Sarah Angel back in the day. Alright, so I don't have white mana. Um, but I'm not going to mulligan this hand. I like... There you go. Here we could draw some white mana. And I, I really like the acceleration. Um, and even if we didn't have the white mana, we'd have like a, a crisis. But this is a certainly a game where we have to be fast. So if I take Terramander, they can dive down it. If I take Curious Obsession, they don't get to dive down it. I just take the Obsession. I think just making sure they don't get to draw more cards is beneficial. Especially with us having flying blockers here in a little bit. We go rank up we're now playing a tier 2 deck All right, so we're still doing, we're still playing this uh, until we win five or lose two, like the normal events. But then we'll be going back to the events for uh, Team Vanifar and Gruul Monsters for our last two decks. Those both look like they're going to be pretty fun decks, so excited to play, excited to play those. All right, let me check my YouTube upload for Rakdos Midrange.
All right, that should be up pretty soon. Um, can't keep it. There you go. This is a lot better. No, I didn't, Yager. How many how many games does it take to hit Mythic? <laughs> oh, good, Tiki Jiki. Oh, you have bronchitis. Aw. That's not good. Never mind. It's not all good. <laughs> the f yeah, the first hand just had two blue-white... Um, Lands is the only mana sources, and uh, green's really important for our deck. And they're both lands that came into play tap too. I think they're just it was just glacial fortress, glacial fortress, and that's just not a mana base that I really wanted to have. And so that's why I went ahead and mulliganed that hand. I didn't want to just have glacial fortress. Glacial fortress is like a starting point. All right, so I'm playing Shalai first before Deputy of Detention, because I want Shalai to be able to protect Deputy. We don't have to be worried about Kaya's Wrath, though. I think I may just... See, that's... This is the problem. I want to get rid of Search for Kanta, but Deputy is just so fragile. What? What is going on there? Is our opponent, um, is our opponent just going to, like, they're, they're just playing that to flip Shalai, or to flip Search for Escanta? I feel like they're just trying to flip Search for Escanta. I'm, I want to play Vivian here, but I'm worried about negate on Vivian, honestly. I'm just going to play Deputy. All right, so now we should be able to resolve Vivian. Oh, wait, I don't have the extra mana. Okay, never mind. We got the mana now. Resolve this. Kill Search for Escanta. For and good. That can't help you now. That worked out well. Uh, didn't want to see Teferi, though. This isn't a fight you can win. It'll be over 400 games. I'm not ready for this quite yet. That's just. That's so many. Seal away is the worst draw we could have here. You know what? I'm not done yet. So Vivian's not our next draw stop, but it's it's two down.
least, at least that's not Vivian getting contempted. Let's skip to the good part. Don't like where we're at anymore. I said that I liked where we're at a little while ago. Don't think we're gonna be able to beat these planeswalkers. I'll make use of that later. Alright, Vivian, you're gonna have to do a whole lot for us, Vivian. Of course, if they countered Vivian there, I'll just be picking him up. How this thing goes is up to you. The wilds are my shield. Use, you could be nice. Deputy and Seal Away are like the cards that we're going to be sideboarding out here. For sure. No time for a break. Good choice. Hey, Steve-O. Yeah, thanks for catching the stream. All right, let's get our counter magic in. And take out Seal Away and Deputy. That's 59 to play one of these other cards. I don't really want Ixalan's Binding. Never mind, that's 58. Because, you know, they're a Mortify deck. I don't really want an enchantment against the Mortify deck. I could play Knight of Autumn to destroy Settle the Wreckage, and I, I guess that's what I'm going to probably do here. Just play a couple Knight of Autumns. Um, mass... I wonder if... Ma I don't know if this will ever work. I have this in the sideboard for, like, Sultai. I don't know, maybe this works. The problem is getting all this blue mana. You know, we kind of need Incubation Druid um, to be able to cast Mass Manipulation. No, I, I don't want Binding against the Mortify deck. I don't, I don't think Mass is going to work. No, they're not with the Thought Erasure deck. No, I'm just getting a couple Knight of Autumns. I like that more. All right, let's try this out. I should have led with Temple Garden. Um, I, I would assume the best shell for Hero of Precinct 1 and Standard is the Esper midrange uh, decks with Hero. I don't play them. I haven't I haven't played them yet myself, um, but I'm, I'm not a real big Hero of Precinct 1 fan. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sold that the the creatures you gain from it matter too much. That the uh, the little one one creatures. All right, well, I hope they don't have that plus a counter spell here where I can play Teferi and tuck the Thief of Sanity. They, of course, still have a land drop. Ooh, they do not have a land drop. If you show reward, that is big. And now Thief of Sanity is like a good card for them to be drawing because it's not a land. Uh, 
dang. Right, I think I just keep Frilled Mystic available. Yeah, we'll just pass with Frilled Mystic. Thieves Sanities. Um, we didn't do very good with like the first Rakdos deck. We changed up the Rakdos deck at the end of the stream, uh, like afterwards, and uh, re replayed it with the changes, and the changes worked out a lot better, I think. But we only played one match, but it felt a lot better. Um, so. I didn't like that specific list that we had at first, though. No, I don't. I don't think incubation incongruity is is too great. Especially when you have access to white. Um, oh, oh, you're saying, oh, why am I not playing incubation druid? Oh, that's what you're saying. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I didn't play Incubation Druid, because I only have the two green sources for fr the Frilled Mystic. Sorry. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. All right, so now that's double white. Is that for a Settle the Wreckage, maybe? Cleansing Nova. Seraph of the Scales. Now that's a card I wasn't expecting. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I'm going to just keep the pressure on uh, attacking with these things. I, d I don't mind trading with the Seraph and making it be two one ones. And I get to play a Druid and still keep up Frilled Mystic or Angel of Grace. They know about the Angel of Grace. Um, and so they took one of our cards with Thief of Sanity, and whatever it is, they, it's better than Incubation Druid, because they did not take Incubation Druid. I can also just adapt Incubation Druid at end step as well, to have even more mana. Ah, I'm a survivor. I'm going to play the Angel, though. Ah, they took a Frilled Mystic. Well, that's unfortunate. Frilled Mystic number four. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um... I think I'm just going to activate Incubation Druid here and have Frilled Mystic available. Why do Control decks playing blue not run Essence Scatter anymore? I don't know. Essence Scatter is a, is a good card. I guess there's just... I don't know. You know, I don't... Like, maybe it gets squeezed out with just all the other things. Um, maybe there's just not room for it. 
but yeah, I guess the the three mana catch alls with like absorb and sinister sabotage being able to counter everything may just be a little more important. How convenient! An excellent choice. All right, so they got one card in hand. You can't stop nature. Quench is cool. Alright, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I crace this for 5, or 10. I draw 5. Then I have to just go to discard. Force them to, force them to do a little block in here. Retribution will be swift. I think just draw three is fine. Just having uh, Vivian in play, just so many, so many cards already. Esper midrange running Karn in, instead of Teferi. That yeah, that sounds suboptimal to me as well. Teferi is just a much better card than Karn. Bad news. They get to cast that crisis. That's certainly bad news. Okay, they play both. Gotcha. Never mind. That that sounds a little more reasonable I've seen then. Things that would break someone like you. You are only hurting yourself. So if they if they use Karn to go get to Fairy, like basically what they have to do here, yeah, is use Karn to go get to Fairy, Kaya's Wrath, so she lies dead, so that they can target Vivian and then have to Fairy tuck Vivian. That's like the only way to keep them from uh, keep me from ultimating Vivian. They also need a land drop to be able to do all of that. And then they don't get my Krasis anymore. Then my Krasis just goes to my graveyard, so they don't get to cast my Krasis. And their Karn's also dead. So like that's so that's like their way to keep me from ultimating Vivian. They could just have a contempt in hand also and just go Kai's Wrath Contempt. Well there's the land. And looks like they're doing all the things we were just saying. Your patience is rewarded. All right, so they have a Teferi and one card in hand, and uh, I won't hide we have all this stuff. Any longer. Um, you need to slow down. So I have ten mana. I think we just get Vivian back on the battlefield, start ticking up again. Let's I know that that moves our other Vivian, of course. Comes. Um. Hit land drops.
And next turn we can, even if they have like Kaya's Wrath here, you know what? we can still just have big yet. Hydroid Crasis. Keep working with those. Okay. Hey, Brick Owl. I'm glad you're here. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good start of the weekend. Yeah, Dimples, I'm certainly excited for the new non-rotating standard format thing that they'll have, like whatever it'll be called. Um, really like new formats. They're always fun. Um, so they're playing like Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker. Have we even seen Mortify from them? They gotta be playing Mortifies, but I don't even think we saw any. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any Mortifies. You'd assume they'd have them. Of course, they have Teferi that tucks enchantments. I'm going to try the, the mass manipulation, one of those over a, um, over a Night of Autumn. This could certainly not work, but if it does work, it'll be great. Oh, did they actually... Did they actually finally announce that format, Sergeant Dimples? I didn't know that there was an, an announcement about it. Quote, our intent for sure is to have Arena's standard plus format. We don't have any details to share on exactly what that looks like, but don't worry, players will still be able to use all their cards that rotate out. I should have just attacked for one here. Yeah, so that's, that's just saying like what we basically already knew that but yeah, so no, de no details yet on it. Uh, let's do with Diva Sanity. The good news is they're stuck on lands, so they won't be able to like cast awesome stuff. We hope, you know, we hope to see lands here. I guess they have a hard choice though. That's bad for us. I'm taking something over to fairy. Can we draw that to fairy? No, we can draw lands. So even though they can gain a whole lot of cards from the Thief of Sanities, they can't cast them without lands, so... You know, we don't want them to draw lands. Okay, that's good. Mill over lands. Okay. Okay. 
Um. Spell? Not a spell. Oh my gosh! <sighs> auto tap killing me. Actually, that's not a bad auto tap. Actually, never mind. If I didn't use auto, actually no, that was that was actually a good auto t auto tap. I got an extra point in with the land war elf. So never mind. That actually worked out. We're gonna have to draw some kind of spell here eventually. Can't just keep drawing lands. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Alright, so we know we've gone through at least thirteen lands. They could also have other lands over here. So remember, we get to um, we can get to exile the Angel of Grace, which I guess I'm going to do next turn because I didn't shock to do that this turn. Uh, they can reset our life total to ten, so we can be winning this race. All right, there's a bunch more lands. I could certainly see a Frilled Mystic coming in here. Our one spell we've drawn in the last five turns that spell pierce did something. What if we draw what if we actually draw mass manipulation? How could that be? We'd get to take everything. Yeah, like we have the mana to take everything. That'd be awesome. Let's draw mass manipulation. Well, that was three spells. That's bad. It was Vivian, Frilled Mystic, and something else they took. Yeah, definitely glad that Krasis can't get land can't hit land drops. Or sorry, um Thief Sandy can't hit land drops. Oh, don't, don't you dare tap that Incubation Druid deck. Don't you dare. I need my Shalab back. My response time is much Thank more you. Than people think. 
And there we go. Incubation Druid finished him off. So what we learned here is officially Incubation Druid is better than Thief of Sanity. That, that's officially what happened there. Opponent had Thief of Sanity all the time. Didn't matter. Incubation Druid was a 3-5. Much bigger. Better card. Yeah, we got hit with thieves so many times. Because we even had to reset our life total to 10. Because we were getting beat down so hard. No, I didn't replace mass manipulation. It was in the deck somewhere. They, they would have never been able to play that Angel of Grace. They only had 4 mana. But yeah, if they didn't, didn't graveyard Angel of Grace, they would have just taken it. Yeah, I'd, I'd just say way dipples. I like auto tap also. You just have to always check your spell before you're casting, but I like auto tap as well. We just need to draw one blue land, and then these incubation druids will really help us out. Breeding pool, is this a mirror match? Not so much. Alright, one blue land, please. That's not a blue land. Let's try again, deck. There you go. Um, Alright, pass turn. Playing Teferi, Teferi here doesn't make a whole lot of sense in face of the Jade Light Branch Walker. Force them to use an instant speed removal spell on Incubation Druid. Yeah, like, they're going to contempt something. I like them contempting the Druid. Hmm. Completely reasonable to play Tristani instead. Trist I mean, manipulation. What it's what I have it in the sideboard for is this matchup. This soul tie matchup. Tristani is not good in this matchup. No, deputy detention is not really a good play for us. I may need to just let Teferi die. Just gonna frill mystic. So Tristani and mass manipulation would be for different matchups. Like manipulation would be for, or sorry, Tristani would be for the aggro decks. Certainly attack for one with the land where else there, I probably should have.
down to three. Please don't have another follow up here, opponent. Just pass the turn. I want to, like, so next turn I'm going to play Teferi and tuck the Branch Walker. Yeah, Hellboy, that's not necessary. Hmm. Them having that follow-up is pretty bad. Like if I so if I play Teferi and Tuck Midnight Reaper, now I'm dead if they have removal spell for Llanowar Elf. Maybe I should have just blocked. If I Teferi yeah, I mean, well, Teferi tick up seal away, I guess, is, is the best thing we can have. But then again, we're dead to a removal spell. That's the best we can do. I, I guess I should have just chump blocked last turn. Let's skip to the good part. All right, we still got to jump block. We're good. Still good. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. No one knows the wilds like I do. I think I tuck their Vivian and play Krasis on Krasis for four. You need to take a time out. They of course can kill to fairy with a removal spell now. Looks like I just need to. Do I just need to incubation draw these branch walkers. We're at five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I do. Kind of think that we're dead if I don't. It's kind of crappy. It's not like an ideal turn or anything. I'd much rather have to deputy attention for the crisis or something else. Yeah, sorry. I meant deputy attention, the branch walkers. Or I said the wrong thing. So Finality is going to wreck us here in a little bit. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, they can't finality this turn, but they can next turn. Like, presumably, they just play Vivian, find a land, next turn they finality. Wild animals I like. Draw and fire. Okay, well that's different. That's different. That's unexpected. Is 
So now, the Incubation Druid won't die to Krasis. Or sorry, won't die to Finality. So that's good. Meet my newest friend. That's a big problem. I hope they just play Krasis. Because Krasis, I just play Vivian, kill their Krasis, and then kill their Vivian. Yeah. Stop using my Incubation Druid. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Get that out of here. Let's do this again. Nothing's pretty big. Pretty big. Come to me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crisis for nine. That they have a removal spell for Crisis, I die. That's another option. I mean, I assume they're just going to finality this next turn. I could Krasis for five and have deploy. That's not very good. I could Krasis for six and keep Incubation Druid back. I guess I only get to draw one card for the Incubation Druid. I have a Settle the Wreckage in the deck. That's the card that I'm looking for. That's a good point. Like, with Krasis healing up to 9 here, we're not dead yet. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. That's fine. I always survive. You'll see. All right, no finality. That's good. That's certainly good. Now what do I want to do? Double deploy. Or incubation druid plus single deploy. If I go druid, activate druid. All right, so now I have I have Shalai activation or single deploy. You can't. Yeah, the deploys will help us gain life for sure. If I do cast Deploy and they do end up having another finality, it's really, really bad for me. I could just activate Shalai and double block with Incubation Druid and Shalai. Also, um, I 
And double block here. The big thing about doing this is I have the mana on Incubation Druid now. The other man, like, I'm gonna have more mana on that thing now. Oh, I guess I, I can't kill her Vivian now, though. We're at seven right now. Would you like to see what the wilds are my shield? I was hoping to find Frilled Mystic. That was a card that I want to find. Have we even seen a Frilled Mystic yet? We saw one earlier. So I have seven mana right now. I shocked this in, I have eight. All right, so I'm just gonna have double deploy. Come to me. Oh, I could have just deposed the branch walker. I was just, you know, so focused on deploying. I didn't even think of that. That I could have just killed the the branch, the Vivian. If I would have just tapped this branch walker and hit him with incubation druid. I'm still thinking about like what deploys are going to be doing and like growing deploys and stuff with Shalai. Yeah, I should have hit the Vivian. I'm going to have to go to discard. We'll kill Vivian here. Yeah, De De Depose doesn't come up that often, that's true. So, get some flyers, gain some life, flyers, gain some life, back up to 19. Um, so, shall I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I activate Shalai, I have six mana left. Then these are all two twos, and I send three of them at Vivian. Meet my newest friend. All right, tap both of these for my six mana.
I'm gonna have the seal away available for the crisis. <clears throat> so if they if they want to attack uh, my Vivian with Krasis, I have seal away for it. You know, like we're we're trying to ultimate our Vivian, right? Like ultimating Vivian is is just game. Um, so we have seal away to get their Krasis. We have a, a counter spell as well. We have enough mana for both. So we're looking really good here. And we have Shalai protecting Vivian also from like a contempt. All right, got there. Um, all I did, all I've done like before with Cyborg for this match was bring in a mass manipulation and cut a spell pierce. That's all I did when I Cyborg for this one earlier, or like, you know, previous times I played the deck. Um, I think Angel of Grace is, is my other least favorite card. And I could see cutting a couple Angel of Grace for a couple Disdainful Strokes. I think I may have done that also, actually. Just bring in two Stroke for two Grace. <laughs> Thanks, Godzilla. Um, I don't think they play Hedonis Climb. No. I think they may have like their own Negates in... Binding a Vivian would be really nice, but I, I don't know if we can... I mean, Binding is certainly better than it, it has been previously, because Binding on Krasis is also really good. I could play Binding instead of Seal Away, but I, I like Seal Away early, because we can get wrecked by Wild Growth Walkers and stuff early. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try taking out the Angel of Graces for... Disdainful strokes. <laughs> You've dra drawn too many cards in your Sultai deck. Ugh. This hand can get run over. Hopefully it doesn't. That's a good draw. Wow. Um, don't think they're playing anything that costs four or more next turn. So we'll just play this Temple Garden. The old six lander versus a one lander. That's going to win. So we know they got... At least four spells in their hand. Dang it. I don't hold up Disdainful Stroke this turn because I missed the land drop before and then that happens. Ugh. Stupid hostage taker. So if our opponent attacks with the Hostage Taker before combat, I can just play my Frilled Mystic and block it. So if they just cast the Incubation Druid, they probably want to cast the Incubation Druid then. But then in that that case, I get to just counter it with Frilled Mystic. Ah, so they're going to split the difference. And just play that thing. Just attack with that thing first. Pace. Yeah, opponent, keep up the pace. You're slowing down. This is our board wipe we have in the deck. No more games. No. No more games. Didn't you hear that? We just said that. That looked like a game to me. Hold that thought. I 
That looked a whole lot like a game. I guess I could have played Shalai and still had Frilled Mystic if I shock there. I probably should have just played Shalai here. Stop that. Now. That was a clutch disdainful stroke though. It's better than an Angel Grace would have been. No time for a break. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, Frilled Mystic is so good. Love that card. Okay. The wild what this is nothing. Uh I don't know if I want to talk hostage taker. I guess I can just deputy hostage taker. Guess I'm gonna deputy the hostage taker. So I'm certainly killing the Vivian. I guess I could have just drawn a card first. Hurry! Ha! I've seen worse. And then I play Shalai here and hope they don't have finality for a turn. One turn without finality, please. Please, one turn without finality. I guess one turn only just gives me, sh like, Shalai. Sh Shalai's only the only card that survives finality for that turn. I guess I've... I, well, I can activate it twice, though. On the Popper event, you went 3-2 and you didn't even get your entry fee feedback. I haven't seen that, that uh, Popper event... But I'm guessing it's like that 500 gold thing. They seem to have like those events. Here it is. Here. Oh no, this is this is 250 gold. And they just give you a couple uncommons. Yeah, like uncommons just aren't aren't worth anything. So yeah, going three, three two, which three two is hard because with this format, cause it's not like you get to lose two and then win the last three or anything like that. So you have to be three and one to get to this stage. You don't even get your entry fee back. So yeah, four wins, you get it back. Yeah, like this just doesn't... Max wins, you just gain 50 gold and one rare, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's worth it. But four two is hard to do in those things because your second losses, you're out. So you have to be four and one to get the rare. It's hard to go for two in those. Yeah. All right, final boss time. Because we're playing this till we win five or lose two. We are four and oh. So can we can we get this five oh, Hawkeye? I need to get my final boss music out, Hawkeye. Here we go. All right, can we draw land? I want my turn three Vivian. We just gotta draw land. That'll do. And then Vivian should be able to take up and find us white mana. Fairy or Vivian? Vivian. 
Every fight makes me stronger. Do you know if cards like Teferi or Vivian would go out of standard for the next rotation? Yes, they will. That rotation is not until around like September. It's a long time, long ways away. Like you'll have a ton of time to use your cards until okay. then. So you've got claws. So uh, I don't think you need to be too scared about rotation, like but yes, you. everything that's on Magic Arena will rotate except for Ravnic, the two Ravnica sets. The two newest sets, Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. Everything else is rotating. There are more releases between now and then, yeah. There's going to be a third Ravnica set, and then there's going to be another core set, core set 2020. And then the last release of the year will be, so like the fourth set that's released of the year, that's when rotation will happen. And then everything goes at the same time right then. Uh, it'll be, so four sets rotate out at a time. So standard fluctuates between having five sets and eight sets legal. Right now we have six sets legal. So then we'll get the set number seven, set number eight, and it's four sets a year. So, you know, it's about like three months for set number seven, then about three months, set number eight, and then about three months will be the fall set, you know, in like September-ish, September, October. And then um, at that time, we'll have all four of those other sets rotate out. And so standard will drop back down to being five sets legal again. And so that's when Dominaria uh, Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan and Corset 2019 will all rotate out at the same time then. So just rotation only happens the one time each year. The wilds are my shield. We need Lyra. But we don't have Lyra. I'm one mana away from double activating Shalai. I can play Teferi and tuck the, the Benelish Marshal. Um, Yeah, that, that's, yeah, Shalai activation makes the Druid be able to add three mana, but that's why we're one away, because five plus one, plus like a land wear off is six, and then Druid plus the two land wear offs would be another five, so we can't activate it twice. Another Benelish Marshal is just pretty insane. So, four, five, four, five. And kill those. Chomp. Chomp. Take six. Take eleven.
We do have a Settle the Wreckage in the main deck, so we, we could possibly draw a Settle the Wreckage. We haven't seen Angel of the Grace yet. There we go, that's a good one. No one knows the wilds like I do. There's the settle. Now we have, we're doing okay now. Yeah, we're doing okay. We can either Frilled Mystic a, a spell they play or just activate Shalai again. Yeah, deputy detention is great here. We need to find more deputy detentions with Vivian. Boom. We got game one against the final boss. It didn't look good for us, but we got there. Um, hey, Rev Daddy. Doing really good. Doing really good. All right. Teferi out. Frilled Mystic out. Uh, Spell Pierce out. This is 60 right here. Do I want Binding instead of Vivian? Yeah, I mean, I have the other land where else also, besides these. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take out two of the three Vivians for two bindings. Binding on a, like, a Benelish Marshal. Would be pretty nice. So, yeah, cards that rotated out will just not be legal and standard anymore. They'll still be on your account. Um, nothing, nothing would change with that but you just wouldn't be able to play them in standard anymore. Um, a new format will be made uh, where you'll be able to still play those cards on Arena with, like, other... You know, like, it'll be some some new format will be made on Arena to let you still play those cards, but they won't be legal and standard anymore. All right, not going with the Knight of Autumn right away. I think we can just save it. Let's get another Land War for the mana in play, and we don't have to shock either. I can have Shalai next turn. Shalai's going to do some good work for us. I can certainly see them having Conclave Tribunal, but it's not like we're taking lethal if they have Conclave Tribunal. We'll just, um, bleh. we'll just, um, Knight of Autumn the Tribunal and then seal away something. Um, I think with Arena, the, the deck builder is really bad. I think that's the, the biggest thing they need to change. Um... And, like, you know, it's hard to, like, share, like, 
pictures of deck lists and stuff on Arena because because the the build like the screen for that's just pretty bad. But the one thing I would change, but that's just kind of, you know, that's just also just kind of whatever. One thing that I would certainly change in Arena would be. I the one thing that I hate that really bothers me that's just an easy change is I, I hate that 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 button you have to toggle to be able to find traditional matches that I get questions about that like every other day on stream of like how do you how do you find those the traditional rooms because there's like this weird button you have to toggle that doesn't even look like a button it's just like a this symbol you know it's like looks like a, a logo or whatever but you suddenly have to toggle it it's really weird and I would get rid of that I don't like that I don't think that, that thing's necessary. I'm not going to jump block with both land or elves. They just didn't have Benelich Marshall here. Take 14. That's a good one. That's a good one. Is that a good one? Yeah, it's probably a good one. Lyra Dawnbringer, Hawkeye. That's what I want to draw. Lyra Dawnbringer. I think an Alira Dawnbringer could help us win. We have three Lyras in the deck. Yeah, Lyra with these other two angels. We got three Lyras in the deck. Can we get lucky? All right, settle the wreckage. Oh. All right, so we'll be on the play for game three. That'll be helpful.
Yeah, we just blocked with the elf last turn. And go to one. And then play the Angel of Grace the next turn to go to one again. Because we have another look at a potential settle or Lyra. Oh, man. I think I'm keeping this because of how good Shalai Lyra is. But we really got to draw land, especially green mana. We have at least have a seal away as well. We really need green mana. Not five mana cards. We don't need five drops deck. We need mana. Please land. Please land. Brutal. Certainly a risk. These cards go win the game. All right, we're back in it. We were out of it for a little bit. Now we're back in it. Oh, no, Benelish Marshall. That's good. Part of the conquerors would mess me up here. Come on, land. Come on, land. Venerate Luxit on two. Alright, whatever. If I play Lyra, do I survive? If I just play Lyra, can I block and survive? So these are all 4-3s. We block a 4-3. We go to 14. We take 4, 8, 9, 10, 13. We'd go to 14, so we would go to 1. So we could potentially play Lyra and go to 1 and not have to use Angel of Grace yet. Yet. The problem with Grace, Grace then Lyra... Is that next, like, Grace means we go to one, and then the next turn, the second history just certainly kills us. Like, I don't think a Grace and a Lyra, yeah, it does not gain us enough life. So I think, you know, we can't beat a Conclave Tribunal. Grace Grace plus Lyra, Grace then Lyra is just not going to win us the game. I think the only way we can win the game is Lyra first, then Grace. We, you know, this is still certainly risky. There's a risk here, but this is how we can win. We can't win the other way around. Okay, well, that beats us. That was our that was our only way to win there. All right, we stumbled a little too much. But opponent had awesome hands. So, you know, double history, Benelish Marshall. After, you know, having one drop, double one drop, and then double history with Conclave Tribunal, Benelish Marshall. Doesn't really get much better than that. So four and one, we got a second chance at the, the final boss. We got one more chance here. 
And then we'll have Team Ravanifar up next and Gruel Monsters after that. Yep, it is our extra life. Yuck. Keep the two lander again, but at least we got some scries that we got a scry this time. And we have good mana with all of our colors. Lower deck, that's good for us. With us with our mulligan here. Of course, um Mulliganing against the Thought Erasure deck obviously is not good. But at least Um At least we have a chance, though. Not getting ran over immediately. Am I just supposed to just play the Angel of Grace out? Underneath the counter spell, I don't know if they had a counter spell there. They can take my Shalai. Good thing they don't have green mana though. Deputying my own Shalai is pretty nice. So now if the deputy dies, I get my Shalai back. So that's pretty nice. I think they kept both cards on top. Yeah. Go and kill the deputy. Go ahead. I haven't seen. Uh, I've seen a lot of people in their deck take out Deputy of Detention. I haven't seen a whole lot of Deputy of Detention in their deck. Oh, that's a just a ridiculous problem. It's an unreal problem.
One I don't have the answer to in the main board. It's going to be a mass manipulation matchup. Release to the wind is not a not a good card. No, but it, that is that is kind of cool with with frilled mystic, I suppose. So Ixalan's binding says that you cannot activate the loyalty ability of planeswalkers. So both Vivian and Teferi get rid of it, but we can't actually use their loyalty abilities. So it doesn't doesn't help us. Hmm. Yeah, Mortal Sun's a big problem. So if we just do this... And try just doing this. Oh, I do have deputy for immortal sun. That's that's true. So I guess I I had something for it. I forgot about deputy. So like I said I did have something for it. Still. Wasn't very confident in us winning that game still. But yeah, I guess I guess I wasn't just completely dead. I forgot about Deputy for it. So yeah, maybe I should have just used Vivian earlier to kill Vivian earlier to Kill Shalai and save Deputy for, for Immortal Sun. I just I was not expecting Immortal Sun, honestly. That was just not something that was really on my radar. I'm glad our opponent hasn't done anything yet, so we actually get to Frilled Mystic like their first play. Whatever their first play is. Like that. That's a good thing, card to Frilled Mystic. Draw one card with Krasis. Oh no, I, I didn't like how they had like the two mana available to counter the Vivian. I kind of feel like they had negate. Hey, thanks Timmy. Thanks for the kind words. Okay, I like it. We tapped him out, so we know we get to resolve Vivian, uh, and I'll be, yeah, you know, I'm gonna be playing Vivian, ticking up. Like it. While balance comes. So that's worth it. Glad we used a couple more fives there. Ooh. 
Now we're getting started. I'll just kill that Lyra, thank you. No one said restoration was painless. Restoration is painless. There, I just said it. The fifth point of power could point of like power toughness could be important. Um, I don't think the two life is that important. Not losing hey, what's up, DJ Polly B? Meet my newest friend. Cool, mass you back. Nice. I don't really like my deputy targets here. Alright, I kind of like it a little better now. I like my deputy targets a little bit better now. Alright, so they kill Vivian. Every defeat is a new beginning. They're down to one card in hand. I'll just keep the Frilled Mystic available. Yeah, I'll just keep Frilled Mystic available. want to discard any of these cards. Bleh. The problem, I guess I'm just going to discard Knight of Autumn. The problem with discarding Knight of Autumn though is then an a Immortal Sun is, is bad for us, but I can find something else. There we go. That works. Let's tear this place apart. Come to me. And this works too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll take deputy. All right, looks good for us. Battlefield is symmetrical, and we have a Vivian. All right, game three. So we have the final boss, part two, game three. Hmm. I'm gonna try, uh, not having Knight of Autumn in my deck, with my opponent seeing multiple Knight of Autumns. Maybe they don't want to play Immortal Sun into that. So that's kind of doubtful, but... I'm gonna try having the Negates in instead, to be a little more proactive. But this looks... Really bad for us. Going down to five, you know, in this kind of matchup. That's quite tough.
Should tap land war elves. They could have just done that to the land war elves and they don't have any gate anymore. Ooh. They are stuck on mana. We could still do this. I'm not playing Teferi into... Not playing Teferi into a counter spell. And just in case, I'm waiting until they're upkeep to activate this druid. Alright. We'll have... We'll have a resolve Teferi. Sorry, I'm late. I kind of want to tuck one of these heroes because I want them drawing hero. But then Teferi could die if they have removal spell for Druid, even though I can counter it. Teferi dies. We need to move quickly. I'll just draw. Oh no! Cause yeah, because if I tuck, I don't untap the land. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. Final boss, unfortunately for them this time, got stuck on lands. So, there we go. Five and one. Real good, uh, it's not really league, but showing for Bant Flash still. Um, yeah, I like this deck a whole lot. This would, this was if I was like playing in some big event this weekend, I think this is what I would bring. Um, you know, it's a little bit off the beaten path, but it's just got really powerful cards. It's Vivian, Teferi, and Krasis. Lots of mana with uh, Elves and Incubation Druid for him too. Um, and then Deputy and Frilled Mystic is like two cool creatures that uh, two creatures that interact with the opponent. Um, but you you know so there are ways of good interaction that you can find with Vivian stick up uh, while you're like searching through your deck and everything. I'm not I don't know the deploys have been okay. Like this cer certainly could be something else. Um, but I kind of I kind of like it as just like a glue card. Um, Thank you so much, Captain. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. And, of course, I, I like Knight of Autumn and Counter Magic in this format. And I think that we're good against aggro decks with the with the Angels. We did get run over by Mono White. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, Tyler, this is you should play this. You should play this. The mass manipulation in the sideboard, this could also just be another Settle the Wreckage. Settle is good against Soul Tie and it's good against Mono White. Um, so this could just be second Settle the Wreckage in the sideboard. That could certainly be... Um, that's certainly an option there. If you want something that's le that's more reliable, um, that's an option there. So... There's a Bant Flash. Um, all right. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next video, though. Thanks for watching.